transcripts will be provided uh, briefly after our press conference. We welcome the Colorado Buffaloes to the stage uh, victorious uh, tonight in a, in a fantastic basketball game as they beat Boise State 60-53. to uh, Joining us, uh, K.J. Simpson, uh, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. And Tristan De Silva, who had 20 points, was 7 of 11 from the field. The Buffaloes will now advance uh, Friday to Indianapolis where they'll take on the number seven seed Florida Gators at 2.30. Before we open up questions for our student athletes, uh, Coach Tad Boyle joining us. Coach, uh, what this means to your group and, and how you felt your team performed here in the first four? You know, I, I knew it was going to be a battle against these guys. You, you just knew from watching film and watching that team all year that they got some tough-minded guys. They, they're, a, they're a quality program. And, uh, you know, we used to scrimmage Boise uh, before the season started. We stopped that probably, I don't know, six, seven years ago. But they, we always get something out of that because when you play them, you've you got to match their physicality and their toughness. It doesn't matter who they have. You know, they got a totally different team now than, than when we played them back in the day. But, but uh, you know, they had 19 offensive rebounds, and that was a key to the game for us was to limit that to six or less. And obviously we didn't even come close. But um, down the stretch when we had to, we, we got rebounds, and I thought, you know, KJ's 11 rebounds obviously stands out. Um, but our guys battled when we had to. Uh, we went down four, called a timeout. You know, KJ was really positive, uh, which I thought was, was great because you need that positivity in the NCAA tournament when you go down four late. And then we got five straight stops in a row. Our, our defense just kind of cranked up a notch. And... Uh, Obviously, we went with a really shortened rotation in the second half. Um, that's just kind of where we're at right now. But uh, these guys did what they had to do down the stretch and, and, and beat a tough, hard-nosed team. We'll open up questioning for our student athletes, and Tristan and KJ. Let's go to the second row on the aisle. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. For either of you guys, obviously, Coach mentions the, the 19 offensive rebounds you gave up, but you guys got the biggest one of the night with – uh, Javon takes that fadeaway jumper late shot clock and Eddie grabs it and puts it back up. I think there's a couple tenths left on the shot clock and that puts you up five with 32 seconds to go. I mean, just how big was that play? And it seemed like Eddie had a knack for making that those kind of plays all night. Is that just kind of his March experience showing up at the perfect time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was huge. Uh, you know, he's, he's a beast on the glass and we really needed him tonight uh, just to match their physicality. Um, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say, but, you know, it was, it was a great play. Uh, got it up in time and, and got us up five, as you said. Um, and that kind of set the table for the, for, the, for the rest of the game. KJ? Yeah, the, the thing about Eddie is, you know, he's a special talent just because he, he has a knack for knowing where the ball is going to be and he has great hands. And he's just a hassle to deal with down there in the paint. And um, that was just a, a smart play, high IQ play, you know, to have a shot clock awareness and uh, – understand where the ball was going to go and so um but he's he's made big plays like that for us all year so we have someone like that on our team you know it's, it's kind of positive and it helps us you know uh make this make this type of run and be here second row uh, other side of the aisle pat rooney boulder daily camera uh, tristan um it seemed like you were taking the lead on defense on dagan hart uh, three for ten for him six points what was your approach what was the plan with him and you know what were you able to execute yeah, I mean, he, he was uh, kind of the focus of the scouting report. So, you know, I, I knew I'd, I'd have my hands full uh, the whole game. Um, credit to him. He's a great player. Um, you know, has taken the Boise to uh, has, has taken Boise to three consecutive NCAA appearances. So, you know, I kind of knew um, I had to step up my game defensively um, for this one specifically. Um, you know, and I, I tried my best to, to limit him, to kind of slow him down, um, take away his strengths and just kind of uh, beat him with my length and quickness. Jumping to the other side of the room at the end. Scott Proctor the Colorado, and congrats on the win, guys. Um, KJ, wasn't your best first half, but you made some clutch uh, shots down the stretch, 11 rebounds. Coach said you stayed really positive down the stretch there. What allowed you to kind of stay positive? What was going through your mind, and how important was the mental part of kind of staying in the game and you know staying in the floor? Yeah, I think just the biggest thing is basketball is more than offense. Obviously, you know, it wasn't my best night shooting the ball, and I had a lot of uh, – 
kind of bad shots tonight. Um, so that was kind of frustrating. But understanding that my team, you know, needed me to, out there to do other things. That's why, you know, we needed rebounds. So I wanted to, you know, go out there and be a leader and go get rebounds and do whatever the team needed for me to do. And, you know, I knew eventually something was going to fall for me. And um, down that stretch, you know, needed to make a big play and I was ready to step up to it, you know. It's just all about having short-term memory, you know. You kind of build that with experience. And, you know, sometimes the ball is not going to go in the basket, but there's so much more to basketball than just offense. Third row on the end. Yeah, Adam Rittenberg with ESPN. Tristan, I think nine out of the ten wins here to, to get to this point. What's gone into this stretch? And was there a game like this in this stretch, or was this kind of unique in terms of how you guys had to win it? Um, I mean, there's been a couple like this, uh, close games. Um, you know, I remember the Oregon game. I remember uh, the Oregon game at Oregon, um, the USC game. Um, so there, there's been a couple close games uh, that we've been in over the stretch. And I feel like, you know, um, kind of trusting our defense has helped us a lot. Defense and rebounding is what, what coach kind of stresses the most. Um, and down the stretch this game, uh, I feel like we got the stops, we got the rebounds that we needed. Um, so I'm, you know, super proud of our guys, uh, the job that they've done on, on defense. Uh, second row, last question for our student athletes. Uh, Tyler King with the Denver Gazette again for KJ. I mean, Javon Ruffin seemed like he gave you guys quality minutes in both halves tonight. Um, obviously, with Julian still being out, he's kind of had to step up these last couple weeks. I mean, he only had one point, but I mean, just felt like he was making a lot of right plays for you guys. H how important was his impact in, in the nine minutes he was able to give you guys tonight? Yeah, I mean, Ruff was unbelievable. I mean, we, uh, we made sure to let him know, you know, he was doing great things out there for us on the floor. And, you know, one thing about this team is anybody's capable of going out there and, you know, doing something positive for this team. I think we have full trust and capability and um, with everybody. But Ruff, you know, his minutes, like you said, all he had was uh, all he has was one point. But I mean, his impact was bigger than just one point. I mean, he he was out there guarding. He made great plays defensively, uh, was out there boxing out, you know, great, great assists, great one more passes, you know, and he was just playing with high energy. And, he was just playing loose and free, and you know he he helped us uh, down that stretch for sure. KJ Tristan, terrific fight tonight. Congratulations and best of luck on Friday. Safe travels. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. All right, as our student athletes uh, step off the stage, we now uh, open up questions for head coach Tad Boyle. Let's go second row. Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera. Coach, I asked Tristan about his individual defense, but collectively for your team, holding them 2-18 to 18 on, on three-pointers, seemed you like you were active and intense all night. What was the, the scouting report? What were your guys able to do? Our guys did a great job uh, defensively all night long, like you said, Pat. I mean, to hold that team to 34% and only two threes uh, when they got Ogbo and Rice, who are prolific three-point shooters, that's a testament to, to our guys' as, uh execution of the game plan you know Tristan is a is a really really good post defender and he can also guard in the perimeter as well but he did a good job on Dagenhart but you know the other thing you know midway through that second half they went big they were playing Martin Stanley and Dagenhart and Javon Hadley had Dagenhart at times too uh, Javon is just a, a unbelievable defender because he can he can guard one through five I looked out there sometimes he was on Dagenhart sometimes he was on Stanley we tried to keep Eddie on Martin because Martin's such a good back down guy and he's such a good passer, uh, we wanted that matchup to stay. But but I thought, yeah, Tristan's uh, defense, Javon Hadley's defense, KJ got better as the game went on. I thought in the first half he wasn't as good as he normally is. But great team defense, but also some great individual performances as well. Second row on the other side of the aisle. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Tad, you have said that the, the turning point for this team was the UCLA game, and obviously the breakthrough came in the following game in the double overtime win against USC. Um, kind of similar finish tonight with how kind of close it was. That game was obviously more high scoring. I mean, how much did you feel like the, the close games that you've played in the last couple weeks that really paid off in this one? And just kind of the poise you guys had. You mentioned going down four and then just kind of rallying late. Yeah, we've been in a lot of close games. You know, the Washington State game was a great preparation. The, the semifinals of the Pac-12 tournament. And I think we won by you know four or six points. But it was a close game down the stretch, and we executed. And I, I felt like in terms of the most similar team in the Pac-12 to Boise State was, was Washington State because they got two legitimate bigs, can play three at times. And uh, our guys did a good job against them. We talked about that. 
Um, I just keep coming back to those 19 offensive rebounds. If we just box out and and cut those in half, this game isn't as close as it was. But we made it that way. They made it that way. Again, you got to credit them. Tristan talked about defense and rebounding. We had half that tonight. Our defense was stellar. Our rebounding was was not good enough. Let's go to the end in the first row. Scott Proctor at Colorado, and congrats on the win, Coach. I actually something similar about Eddie uh, the other day. 19 and five going in. Uh, to tonight's game and games where he grabbed six rebounds, did it again tonight, so that's yeah. 20 of five. How impactful was he tonight in the game where he played 34 minutes, I believe the most since that UCLA game? How yeah. important was he to tonight's He's, result? He was huge because, again, the, the way that Boise, they're bigs. Uh, and I was thinking, I talked to our staff at pregame meal today, like Cam Martin like normally plays about 15 minutes a game. And, uh, you know, tonight he played 23. I thought they might play him more just because of the, the, the matchups, you know, defensively. And Eddie's a problem. I, I thought they were going to double him a little bit more than they did. They started to in the second half. But he's a presence down low. He really is. And uh, he's a good passer. He's a good finisher. Starting the game, I thought he had a couple looks that he normally finishes that he, that he missed. But he stayed with it. And uh, that offensive rebound was, to me, the play of the game because it – you know, go from a one-possession game to a two-possession game just mentally uh, is really, really positive for the team that does that. It's, I won't say de demoralizing, but the other team, you know, a little bit of panic sets in. and they. But our, our defense uh, was, was, was phenomenal down the stretch. I just can't say enough about it. But Eddie was great. The long timeouts in the NCAA tournament, the five timeouts in the first half, five timeouts in the second half, 20-minute halftime, fatigue – doesn't really come into play. And that's why we were able to play those guys as many minutes as we normally, we don't play Eddie 34, as you know. One more question for Coach on the end. Tyler King with the Denver Gazette again. Ted, you mentioned the high minutes, all, all starters playing at, at least 30. Um, you got 52 of your 60 points from Tristan, eight, uh, KJ, and Eddie. Um, we, we know how, much, how talented this team is, despite maybe some lack of depth issues. I mean, how impressive is that for you that those three guys were able to carry you, obviously all older guys in a game like this where it was kind of back and forth th all throughout? Yeah, I mean, K KJ said it. You know, this team's more than just, you know, two or three guys. I mean, it was two or three that kind of carried the load tonight. But, we, you know, Javon Hadley, he's, he's had 20-plus points. We know how talented Cody uh, is. Uh, he didn't have his best outing tonight, but, but – and Javon Ruffin keeps coming, bang out that. I mean, we didn't get a San Jope in the game tonight, but we've got confidence in him. So, you know, I just feel like tonight it was just, you just had to ride those guys as, as, as much as we can. And uh, um, that's, again, you're able to do that in the NCAA tournament because of, because of what I talked about earlier. So, um, but yeah, they were, they were terrific. And it might be three, two or three different guys. You know, uh, when we play Florida, I'd like it to be five to seven guys that are really clicking and, and moving. But, it, you know, you get into this tournament, and the teams are here for a reason. If you can't guard, you usually don't get to this point. You know, if you can't rebound like Boise does, you don't get to this tournament. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, uh, hopefully we can have, you know, multiple guys um, uh, help us uh, on, on uh, Friday. But we'll see. It's going to be a quick turnaround. Friday at 2.30, the Colorado Buffaloes now 25-10 and 10 as they move on to take Florida. Coach, thank you so much. Yep, thank you.